Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a lip swatch and a review of the NYX Cosmetics Lip Lingerie Double XL. Now they do offer about 14 shades at the moment on Nykaa and I have picked out 6 of them. So as always, check the description box below to see the shade names. And for foundation shade reference, I'm NC40 in MAC and in Maybelline, I am 310 Sun Beige. Uh, before we can get into the lip swatches, the pros and the cons and the formula. And if you have not already, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to which channel whenever I upload. And now let's jump right in the video. Right, so let's first go over with the description of these liquid lipstick. Now it says that it is the new extra extra long lasting liquid lipstick with 16 hour wear. The sensational vegan lippy delivers a full bodied smooth matte color molding onto your lips and accentuating your natural lip shape creating the appearance of a fuller looking lips. This type of lingerie stretches and moves with you no matter what your lips do. No crack, no bleed, no fade and no transfer up to 16 hours. Just like your favorite shapewear, this liquid lipstick feels lightweight and comfortable all day and it is designed to enhance all complexion. So this is how the packaging looks like which comes in this matte finish kind of a color coordinated outer packaging. The cap remains the same for all the shades and this is how the applicator looks like which is pretty soft and it's very easy to apply the darker or the lighter shades on your lips. Now these are priced at 899 rupees for 4 ml of product and like I mentioned before they do offer about 14 shades and it's available only on Nykaa at the moment. And now let's finally move on to the lip swatches. Okay, so let's go over with the formula and the pros of these liquid lipstick. Now, firstly, these are moussey in consistency when you initially apply them and it is fully pigmented. The darker shades, just one layer, you're good. But then for the lighter shades, you may have to apply like a second layer to get the full opacity. Now, it does take about one minute for it to properly set. And in that one minute, it does feel a little bit tacky and sticky. But then once it is set, it does not feel like anything at all. It's very light on the lips. It doesn't feel like you're wearing any lipstick at all. Now, when it comes to the formula of this it feels like a silicone primer like when you have felt any silicone primer between your fingers that is how it feels on your lips but then it doesn't feel heavy at all it doesn't feel tacky or sticky or anything once it has set 
Now, even though this does set to a pure matte finish, it doesn't feel drying on the lips. Like I said, it's very thin. It doesn't feel like anything on your lips. It's not heavy, not sticky, not tacky. I think I'm repeating this again, but it feels extremely comfortable. However, I will suggest that you need to prep your lips beforehand. That is, make sure that your lips are well moisturized. Now, these last for a very, very, very long time and they're completely transfer proof. Like, for example, it does not budge or transfer at all. And this is how it looks like once you have a heavy meal. Now, I had a very heavy meal. I thought it will come off afterwards, but it did not budge at all. And it was a little bit oily in the outer surface of my lips, if that makes sense. And I thought that it was a lip color. But then when I did do a transfer test, it did not transfer at all. It was just the oil that was sitting on top of my lips, not the lipstick at all. Now, this formula kind of reminds me of the Maybelline Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick, but I feel this is a way improvised formula. Like, it's 100 times better formula-wise, like how it feels on your lips compared to the Maybelline one. So, if you have used that, imagine this to be like the better version of it, way better version of it. Now, for the removal of these liquid lipsticks, you will have to use an oil-based product. I use the Garnier Micellar Water, the oil-infused one, and that works like a charm because just using a face wash or even an oil cleanser, because earlier what happened, I will insert a picture, so I was swatching it as soon as I received it. And when I did, I used the oil remover, like the DHC oil remover, and it never left because I was just like rubbing on top of it like this to remove it off. It never came off. It was stained until the next day, even after having a bath. So you will have to use like a little bit of a rubbing. Like for me, I use like a wet wipe mixed with the oil infused micellar water and it worked like a charm. So... FYI. And obviously it is mask proof as well. Now these do have this nice vanilla-ish kind of a scent which I personally like but it could be a little overpowering for few but then it does come off like in about one minute. It kind of fades away. And now for the FII, the first point, like I mentioned before, it does have a slight tackiness, but that lasts only for one minute until it sets. But once it sets, it does not feel like anything at all. But yeah, I just want to let you guys know about that. The second point is that it does blur your lip lines. Like if you have wrinkles or fine lines on your lips, like how I do, then it does kind of have that blurring effect on the lips, which I personally like. Now the third point is that the outer packaging shade does not exactly correlate to the lip color, which is inside. So yeah, yeah, just if I do not buy it based out of the outer packaging and last but not the least for the cons the first con is that there are 25 shades that's available in US however in India they have launched only with 14 shades so that's the first con for me the second con is that the arm swatch that is available online on Nykaa it has a different set of shades. I think the ones that are not available in India is what is shown over there. So not all shades, Arm Swatch is available online, which could have been helpful for buying, you know, and refer which shade you would want to buy. If that makes sense. Am I making sense? So overall, in my personal opinion, I do love this collection because I'm a huge sucker for matte liquid lipsticks. Like if you're new to my channel, hi, hello. I love a lot of matte liquid lipstick. I own a lot of them. And this one by far formula wise is the best because of how comfortable it feels. It looks like a blotted lipstick with a nice blurring kind of a finish on the lips. At the same time, it's very thin. It doesn't feel like you're wearing lipstick. It's not super drying. It's not at all tacky and it is long lasting and mask proof or mask friendly as well so yeah formula wise a plus plus shade i wish they do extend it price wise i would highly recommend waiting for a sale and then buy it because these are priced like 899 rupees like round up to 900 rupees so it is quite pricey but then i would recommend waiting for a sale wait for it to come down a bit and then picking these shades up so yeah guys, these were my thoughts on the NYX Cosmetics Lip Lingerie Double XL and this wraps today's video you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below. If you have any questions or requests, I will try my best for you as well as follow me on my socials which is Ishana on Instagram and Ishana on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye.